Now I know. <laughs> I'm taking it. I love making those shots. Yeah, I'm coming back. Hi guys, this is Matthias. In this video, I'd like to focus on some of the other content creators that uh, focus on Battlefield 1, at least uh, for the most part, and uh, that I've learned quite a lot from. And I also want to talk about the attitude that some of the players have in the Battlefield 1 community that is very, very negative towards some of the biggest content creators out there. Now, when I started playing Battlefield 1, I had been away from the Battlefield franchise for several years. I left because of uh, some of the problems with Battlefield 3 at launch and that took uh, way too long to fix. And when Battlefield 4 was released, it had equal amount of problems or even worse, depending on how it affected you, of course. So getting back into the Battlefield series was something that I found to be a lot easier by just watching other people play. And this was, of course, the veterans from Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and uh, even Battlefront and uh, Battlefield Hardline and some such. Now one of the first things that caught my attention when I started checking out the Battlefield 1 subreddit was this very strong negativity towards uh, some of the well-known content creators of the Battlefield series. But as a content creator myself who has been rather controversial in Planetside 2 and H1Z1, I quite quickly started noticing certain patterns. Where for example, when somebody would talk trash about a YouTuber and say that they suck and they don't know what they're talking about, normally it's because this YouTuber has had an opinion about a certain weapon or a certain vehicle or playstyle and this trash talking guy on whatever forum just happens not to agree with that. And I think it's rather easy for a rather young and insecure person to fall into this negative spiral of bad attitude, something that in the long run will only have negative effects on that player himself. Now me personally, I've realized that there is a lot of good information out there and it would be a waste if you did not take advantage and try to benefit from it yourself. So now the first player that I would like to bring up is X-Factor. And even though he, just like almost all the others that I will bring up in this video, are already very well known and you probably already know about them, I'd like to bring some extra attention to a video that was published the 26th of November, which is a settings guide. Now, unless you are absolutely certain that you have your settings properly set up the way that works for you, then I really, really recommend you to watch this video. Me, I learned a lot from it, but that doesn't mean that I copied his settings. I just took the information from there and made it work for me. For example, some of the things that you've probably seen if you've followed my channel for a while is that my crosshair has been changing color every now and then. And that is because I want to determine what color is the best for me. Now there's a reason why I'm not using white, which is very popular, and that is because I'm a pilot. And when you are focusing on air-to-air -air combat, many times your crosshair is going to point directly into a cloud, which normally is white. On top of that also you have the sun, so I realized that red or something that has red in it, like purple or pink, is what works best for me. Whether that works best for you, that is for you to decide. But uh, that's just one example. Now as a YouTuber, X-Factor makes guides about basically everything, and he has a lot of really good gameplay videos as well. But he's also a very consistent streamer, and a link to his Twitch channel along with his YouTube channel will of course be found in the description. Now the next YouTuber slash streamer that I would like to bring up is Stode and I would definitely recommend you to check him out if you are looking for tips and help in order to improve your sniping. Now you'll probably get a lot of tips about sniping from all of the YouTubers and streamers that I bring up in this video because in Battlefield 1 sniping is very very popular and for good reasons. But one of the main reasons why I bring this up is because if you have questions about the scout class and if there are things that you need to learn about it and you want to figure out then I am not the person to ask. I rarely, if ever, snipe, and even though sniping has been made a lot more accessible in Battlefield 1 than at least in most of the other games that I've played, it doesn't really attract me. Now, so far, I've seen some very high skilled and very consistent sniping from Stode, so if this is something that you're looking to improve, then he is definitely the guy to check out. You will find a link to his Twitch and his YouTube channel in the description. So now the next person that I want to recommend for you guys is Jack Frags. Now I know that Jack Frags does stream every now and then, I've seen it, but it's very rare. Instead he is very big on YouTube. He quite recently reached 2 million subscribers on YouTube, something that we all should congratulate him for. And uh, one of the things that I'd like to mention here is that I've been a YouTuber a lot longer than I've been a streamer, and uh, one of the things that I know is that every now and then when you're a YouTuber, some of the videos that you make 
they are just given to you by the game. They are so easy to do, they barely require any editing or any work at all, while others take a lot of time to produce, and the editing will keep you up night after night in order to fit everything together. Now with the amount of tutorials that I've made, one of the things that I've learned from that is to recognize if another YouTuber's video requires a lot of work to do. Jack Frags has made quite a number of these types of videos, where he has spent a lot of time in order to gather the right information and put it together to make it fit in a high quality video. Now the one upload that I would like to mention in particular is a pistol guide that was published the 4th of December. Now not only do I want to recommend this video to you guys because it's a very good video with a lot of very valuable information, but it's also the kind of video and the kind of information that I have not been able to provide you guys with myself. Now Jack Frags has a lot of very valuable guides, like for example his Do You Know Battlefield videos, and just like Stoda and X Factor, he also knows a lot about sniping, and he has a very useful guide about the sweet spots for all the sniper rifles. Jack Frag's YouTube channel and a link to some specific videos of his will of course be found in the description below. So now the next YouTuber that I would like to bring up is Level Cap. Now Level Cap is the kind of player that does, well basically a little bit of everything in Battlefield 1. Honestly, I can't really think about anything he doesn't do, but you can also in some way say that about him as a content creator. He has a mixture of a very serious and educational videos where some of them are about more than just the game itself. This while at the same time having a lot of videos that are just about having fun, relaxing and just playing a game with your friends. Now among other things, Level Cap has always been good at keeping you up to date with anything important related to whatever game he is playing. And even though I'm pretty sure that Battlefield 1 is his main game at this point in time, you might also find some additional interesting information about other games, especially in his recently started series, This Week in Gaming, FPS News. <laughs> you know what they did on Planet Fate, apparently? No, what did they do? The thermal Thermal vision, thermal optics, no longer highlight infantry. <laughs> What's the point in that? <laughs> yeah, for me, thermals died as soon as they didn't light up uh, the cloaked snipers. Yeah. That was the end of it for me. People still ask me to come back to play planet side. It's like, yeah, that's gonna happen. So now the next big name in the Battlefield 1 community that I want to bring up is Matimio. Matimio is both a YouTuber and a streamer, and some of you guys might actually react a little bit on me bringing him up, since at least at the time of uh, when I'm making this video, he seems to be focusing more on Rainbow Six Siege than Battlefield 1. However, whenever you watch Matimio play, you'll see a guy who really enjoys what he's doing. He's always having a lot of fun playing, he's always laughing a lot, interacting with his uh, stream a lot, and uh, if this is something that you enjoy, then Matimio is definitely the guy to check out, and let's all hope that Matimio finds his way back to Battlefield 1 again. So next up in this little series of shoutouts, we have Ravik. Now the first time I watched any of Ravik's videos was back in the days of Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now back then, Ravik made a name for himself, being exceptionally good with the weapon AT4. Now if you haven't played the game Battlefield Bad Company 2, you might not know how to relate to that, but Ravik is still a Battlefield content creator, he both streams and makes videos on YouTube, and he is definitely one of those high-skilled players that is worth checking out. Now there are several other big names out there, and unfortunately, I don't know them all. But aside from YouTubers and streamers with over hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers, there are also a lot of people out there that deserve a lot more attention than they so far have received. One of them is one of the most consistent Battlefield 4 streamers that is now focusing on Battlefield 1, and his name is Brecky. Now, Brecky is an old friend of mine. We played together um, at the very end of Bad Company 2 and a little bit in Battlefield 3, which, as I mentioned earlier, I left since I had too many problems with the game. But if there is anybody that is really, really good at everything about Battlefield 1, it is Brecky. His stream is definitely worth checking out, and he also uploads a lot of highlights on YouTube, which are all worth watching. Next up, I would like to mention Mugs. 
And Muggs is a streamer that, uh, like all streamers, of course, has a YouTube channel where he uploads videos. But I think that Muggs is mostly considered a streamer, even though many times this can be a little bit hard to determine. Now, Muggs is also, like Stode, very focused on sniping. So this is actually my second recommendation of a content creator that mainly plays the scout class. Now, to be fair, maybe I should consider X Factor part of that category as well. Um, at least from time to time, he has been very focused on the scout class. So now, even though you will most likely see a majority of sniping on Mug's stream, his YouTube channel has a lot more variety. And if you would just quickly take a look at his YouTube channel, you might actually get a very different impression of him as a player. However, this is of course all up to you to decide. So now last but not least, I'd like to mention ODCOD a streamer that is uh, very much focused on and very much an expert on the Automatico. As far as I know, at least at this point in time, he is the player that has most kills with the combined three versions of the Automatico. So yes, if you're interested in the run and gun, crazy, PTFO, YOLO style, then this is definitely the guy to check out. So now, some of you guys might be wondering why would uh, someone like me who only has like a little over 20,000 subscribers make a YouTube video like this where I recommend uh, YouTubers and streamers that are many times bigger than myself. Well, the main reason for that is that over the last couple of years, as I mentioned, I've been away from the Battlefield franchise. And uh, with the last game that I played, H1Z1, I played a game that was very, very different from what you see here. Now, what that means is that some of you guys who are watching me play Battlefield, you might be very new to this franchise, and therefore, even though some of these guys are very, very famous, you might not know about them, or you might not know what is specific about each and every one of these streamers and YouTubers. So yeah, hopefully, this video will help you out with that part. Now, there are a lot of other people that should be mentioned in this video, and there was a lot of other people that I had in mind, or a few other people that I had in mind, but that I hesitated to bring up for the one reason only, and that is that lately I've seen them focusing on other games than Battlefield 1. And I made one exception with Matimio because he seems to be switching back and forth between Battlefield 1 and Rainbow Six Siege. So now for the ones of you who are new to my channel, one of the things that makes me a relatively unique content creator, both as a streamer and a YouTuber, is that I fly a lot. And I fly a lot of fighter planes and attack planes, not so much the bomber. Now if flying is something that you would like to learn, or if this is something that you would just enjoy watching, then I promise that I will continue doing my best when it comes to uploading this type of videos. On top of that, I stream basically every day, and even though I've started to get some recognition as a pilot, I actually play Assault as my primary class. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video, I hope that this has been helpful, and I want to thank you all for watching. Yes! Uh, maybe, I don't know, if something has happened lately then I don't know about it because it's a new company and all that. It wasn't pay to win really when I played it.